Okay. All right. So I'm going to paint out. Trying to get everything going here now. Let me see. I got to get my other phone hooked up. Second, and we can get going in a couple minutes. Oh. Yeah, I got a minute. Kind of yellow. Never have enough yellow on this one. Cad red, cad orange. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm going, I'm moving on. That's it. Everybody, busy, 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 busy. Let me check. Make sure this lens is clean, not foggy. Oh, look at how much sharper that is, huh? Gotta leave that there. Gorgeous. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we had fun with that one, didn't we? Yes, last week. I I haven't finished it. <laughs> I haven't finished it either. Still working on it's mine. So it, was, <laughs> it was so, so easy, you know. So, yeah. you know, it's just <laughs> incredibly easy. I think everybody should have should paint it twice because it was so easy. Now, there were some good ones that really came out. I mean, uh, well, Ava, Eva had a, had to paint it because of, uh, you know, it was hers. Poor girl, we forced her to paint it. And she did well, really well on it. 
Uh, I know uh, Lisa had a great one going with water and stuff, but uh, she has not uh, shown since. Uh, I'll finish there was a couple it other ones. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Kathleen did a great, really worked on one. You know, that, hey, Jim, that uh, lady Jim, from the Down Under is just not coming through for us, though. <laughs> Jim. She's kind of It's slacking. Linda. It's Linda. Linda who? Mac. Linda, the Florida I thought girl. I did a great job on mine. You did? How much did you drink? <laughs> <laughs> not there enough, clearly. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> did you put yours up there? No, I didn't paint. I didn't paint. I'm sorry. I'm still in boxes. Yes. <laughs> so, but oh, I did watch gosh. for a while. I did watch for a while. All right. So you're going to be able to make it to uh, France with us? To where? To, where? To, to France with us? Are you, oh, yes, you I am. Okay. Yes, I am. We got a yeah. room for you. Excellent. Room for you, but right by the stables. So, uh, you know, you <laughs> feel right at home down there from Florida to there. Smells. Yeah. I love the smell of stables in the night. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway, <laughs> folks. Thanks for joining in again. Uh, let's see. We've got a good one today. Uh, but this is last week's we little gondola action here. We had uh, uh, in on the water here. I think this is where we spent, I spent most of the class on is... Uh, the boat and the water. I didn't tell you exactly how he's going to finish up uh, this stuff up here. Here, let me. You, you, somebody has me on echo. Sorry, you guys have to unmute yourselves to talk. But uh, uh, you can sort of see it without the glare. Oh, uh, sorry. Got to have light on it, and then you can't. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is where I was spending most of the time trying to basically painting shapes. Not much different than I painted the water, really. Sorry, I'll put it back up here and it probably look better. Um, yeah, uh, so I think the one little important thing was this, this uh, the light on this building back in here, the shadow and the light, even though it, it doesn't really show that, you know, that, you know, with that, but it's, uh, burned out but it's there um and then uh, of course the bridge and just a few square boxes and, and an arch a couple of arches so at that the base we didn't have a whole lot to paint building wise we didn't have to be too uh identifiable and, and things and stuff drink linda drink uh but uh the water looked, uh, I think the water turned out fun. You know, I think that, that color of that water was so nice. You know, that that uh, aqua color was really just popping in there. You know, that, that was just really sung. So that was last week. Good, good. Everybody's working hard. Everybody's going to catch that. You got to get your donkeys done. You got to get that done. You got other things to do. And now we're going to throw this one on you. Another landscape from our down under girl for her our down under girl. So beautiful. Uh, this one. It is really nice. I love the colors. I love that oh that the the, 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 the sky uh, and the and the purple in the sky and the, and the tree itself. Uh, look, water. I mean, it has, it has a lot of stuff in it, right? Now you start looking at it, I got like I was. I'm going to pull it up and uh, we'll break it down. Let's see if it comes up. I might have to jump off and uh, download it. I think I kind of did the same thing I did before. Yeah, I did this. Did it again. One second, folks. I gotta gotta run over and download it from uh, one of you guys. Did you say where it was located? Uh, no, I didn't. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, but well, well, oh, goats. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> goats. Uh, no, no, sheep. Oh. They're sheep. These are sheep. 
No, oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, there's 32 sheep in this herd spread out across it, so it should be fun. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, start again. <laughs> uh, pull it up. And hell, it just works better pulling it up than uh, showing it than showing it off this thing. Uh, yeah, thirty-two sheep. We got a nice, beautiful little water going through here. Um. Oh, is that a creek? Is that not a creek? That's probably too big. It could be a river, I guess. Brook. Not sure what the size is for either of those. Uh, a few sheep. Nice herd of sheep. Beautiful yellow tree in the middle. A pair of them working together as one. Backdrop. Notice more trees, but they are in the green tones. And yeah, look at that. That green the greens and the grasses and stuff a lot of purples too and then you go to the sky and you can see the same thing except for that aqua color there that's pretty nice um design wise yeah that's nice it real meanders here you know it takes you around you know and then you come back around and you see everything else and you kind of end up on these sheep right in here you know or you start there and then, then work your way back around to the tree. Goes a few different ways. So it works out really well. Uh, so the design design's pretty nice. The thing is, I'll, I, you know, I always say these things are simple. I think they're simple. Basically because they're shapes. Just one big sh shape there, a shape there, you know, a big shape here, you know, a shape here. And shape there. Of course, you got the sky. So you only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shapes to paint. Should be it should be no problem. <laughs> no, that's as simple as. But that's as simple as you want. You want to make it. I mean, that's the thing. And then you use the the sheep itself. You know, kind of to to bring everything together and make sure you move things around. That's why I looked at it and I said, well, this is pretty simple color wise. Uh, we've got a lot of green, some greens. Uh, we've got purples, a lot of purples, but these purples are all pretty much, you know, related. Uh, so it won't be uh, as tough as you think it's going to be. If you look right here on these trees, though that purple in these trees is going to be end up being this, this, and that, just by adding white to it, and it's going to be probably right over in here too. And uh, take that color. We're going to probably hit some yellow into it, and you're probably going to get this color or or this color out of it, and this color out of it, or even start to get this color. We start adding blue and more yellow to it. You're going to get this color, this color, this color. You add more blue to it. And you're going to get these colors, more blue and red. So, and then uh, you just got to come up with the sky. We all know what color that is. And you got some oranges in that sky too. All these colors here are going to, you know, pull right together and make, make all these colors. So really building this painting is, is uh, not too, not too bad. Uh, I would say, you know, even the, the sheep themselves are, you know, pink, you have a lot of red in them, you know, you're going to be able to pull a lot of that color. Simple. Keep it simple. When you get a complicated, you know, even this is, this is simple, simple, but it's complicated looking. But if you break it down, a lot of these colors can be, are interchangeable here and there. It can be moved around. And so we're not going to be looking at, you know, we have, we'll have a full palette of colors. Well, I think it's going to be, you know, going to be very handsome painting, I think, at the end. So, so. 
Um, let's see. I don't know. What else you guys want to talk about? Uh, and Jim, if I'm, hello, yeah. it's from Australia. Um, oh. I was just thinking of maybe cropping it a little bit so that the big tree was a was a bit more to the right. Is that you think that's okay? There's nothing over there, right? If you cropped it in that area, yeah, you yeah, know, crop this, crop, crop that tree out. Definitely, yeah. you could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it just, I mean, I yeah, had the I canvas mean, you got a lot I had of... was, it, it fits the canvas a little bit better that I have. You, well, whatever you have, that's fine with us, I guess. What are we gonna do? Reach across over there and tell you no, no. Well, no, but I still think it looks good is what my question is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Definitely, there's nothing there that says uh, uh, you, you, you couldn't crop any of that. And if even if you did crop it and you wanted to keep this kind of stuff in, you just, you know, just slide it in a little bit so you don't well, lose it all. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And if you wanted to make that tree, tr this tree smaller, just do shove it in over there. If you want, yeah, to, that's if you want to do that, but uh, you know, one of the things is you know, make it get that little slope going back down right at the corner there would be nice, so it doesn't just keep going off like that. That's the thing. Okay, you do that, and you're you're fine. All those little things because there's nothing in the water at all there really. So that you could always, you know, even crop crop some of this stuff off. You could just keep it tight even like that if you wanted to mm. but then so you could a lot of little things you know if, if some people want to do it they just could do, do a tree and a couple you know a couple of, of sheep and this stuff it's a pretty little painting because this guy this yellow orange and this uh, green and purple going together in that sky that's just like you know so nice it just like pops it's so kind of unique to see it well, maybe, maybe just because we're in Chicago. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's, that could be it, too. Um, anyway, that is my uh, deal with this one. I think that's a, you know, yeah, go for moving these things around, guys. You don't have to, you know, stick with things. You don't want to put in all the goats, all 32, maybe 33 goats. Maybe they even have babies by now. Um, you know, you want to, you never know. So, uh, you know, really, I think the, just this area here is really the important one. That's what we'll f focus on tonight on. Uh, and, uh, these guys back here are just dots. Those are dots. Maybe these two get a, or a dot with two, you know, scratches for legs, you know, and that's it. You know, don't, don't give them any love at all. Let those guys be. They'll take care of themselves. Take care of the ones that are that count. Um, and that would be those ones right in front. <clears throat> okay. That is it, I think, for me. How about you guys? Yep. Well, and All when right. you paint, when you paint, you paint from the, the computer screen too, right? I just know I make it up. Right now, now, right now, I'm gonna make it all up out of my head. Yep. Oh, okay. No, no, I have I have a big <laughs> monitor. I have a right. huge monitor over to the my side there. Uh, I look at, and I keep it that way. I keep everything on my hands, and I can just work on uh, thinking and drawing. It's it's more, uh, you know, kind of plain air feeling to it because right. I, I don't have anything I'm studying too much. And that's the best you're gonna get when you're. Uh, looking at this stuff, looking for how to paint these things. So let's head over to, there we go. Oh, look at that. Did I get everything in there? I got the white in there. I got the green in there. Okay, these are good. Uh, again, I'm painting on this one. Uh, colors. I just have the titanium white out. Got cad yellow light out. Cad red light. Cad orange. Had some ochre out. 
uh, this is Venetian, or it could be Terra Rosa, or even uh, oxide red uh, light, which you know this color should be. I should have been. I would be if I if I could read. Uh, this is a uh, Rose Manor uh, uh, Deep by uh, Rembrandt, but this is also Alizarin Crimson. So Alizarin Crimson would be great here. Cobalt Blue Hue and Phthalo Green are the colors I'm going with today. So get these guys out of here. And of course, brushes wise, of course, big brushes, big ideas, right? Got some nice big synthetics, rosemary synthetics. I have a couple bristle brushes here, just for the, these guys will come in handy for this kind of stuff. You know, anything with a kind of a goopy edge to it, that's what these guys are good for. These guys are good for carving. You know, if you're gonna carve something out, you want a good, nice, nice strong edge. That's when you can use the synthetics. And I got a couple smaller ones and that'll do. Put these guys away. Here. Oh, paint eraser too. Okay. Uh, we'll be painting with, uh, I have safflower oil. Let's put that out. All right, color wise. This is a muted type of paint colors. Like I said, we were talking about darks and things. You look at it, you know, everything, the darkest darks are probably right around sevens and eights here. You know, there are seven and eights, maybe nine, but uh, nothing super, super dark. Uh, everything's more in a, in, in, in a deeper midtone. And even uh, the highlights, the highlights, of course, are, are the sheep and the water. Um, but not too, uh, too crazy. Hmm. Okay. So let's make our darks up first. Um, knife's out. Oops. All right. One of those days. So we're going to make up this, this kind of warm purple first. Purples and blues and, and greens. We're gonna make those up first. Uh, looking for, I'm gonna look for this kind of a uh, red purple here. Uh, it is a warm purple, sun coming in, it is hitting this tree and that is a, a warm purple. That means it does, it's not on a cool side of alizarin or anything. That means it would be on a warmer side of Venetian, which is slightly is warmer uh, or could be a, Cad red, but we're going to go with Venetian for first, first tries. So a little bit of blue. And Jim, the Venetian, if you don't have Venetian, what should we use? Oh, heck, you're screwed. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Terra Rosa? I don't have that you either. Do you have uh, burnt sienna? Yes. Okay, we could do burnt sienna and put a little bit of uh, cad red into it. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, and you, you can work with that. that that's going to get you pretty much the same color. So this purple, I was thinking about mostly for this. Yeah, will work. Also, take a little piece of it, add some more blue to it. A little more blue. There we go. So I just have a couple separations of color. Because when I do paint paint this tree out, even though it's mostly red purple, I'm gonna want to put some some of this blue purple maybe at, on the bottom of one of the trunks. I think this one here has a little more blue in it. So that's you know good things. This color will also go into some of this little uh, area around the uh, cliff here going down. Uh, you can probably get a little bit of these cool colors here. I do need some warm ones though. 
So let's do let's do this blue again. This blue and uh, a little bit of cad red together. Cad red. I'm putting in some little bit heavy duty cad red on this one. I don't know why. I just kind of felt um, looking at this this just piece one piece of dirt here and a little bit over here and into the tree i said okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little heavy uh go a little heavier with my cad red on this one so I'm, it's really lightened up the color a lot uh, i'm gonna take a little bit of this pile though and bring it into my regular blue pile and get an in-between pile it's more of a brown and stuff i could when this gets this when this color comes down, when these two colors come down with white, I think we're you know we're going to have all this uh, these purples in water and sky figured out. Hopefully, pretty quick. Uh, the other colors, we got a lot of blue blue greens and stuff back in here. Um, let's start off with just blue first. A couple of blues. And ochre. I'm put ochre in this one this, just to make a green. This is like a nice um, dark green I want to start getting up here. This is almost too, too light. There we go. We'll steal a little bit of this blue here. That's going to work for a lot of it. I do have some areas over here it has to warm up, but so I am going to take a little bit of this and add some more ochre to it. So I have two separate ones, just a one a little bit stronger with ochre. Okay, so I'm gonna take care of pretty much this back area and the trees. that one up a little bit better. Um, just looking to see if there's something I missed. Got to bring out some phthalo green and blue. Just a little bit of phthalo green and blue. Got it there. Uh, I won't need for probably probably going to be on more on the green side, I think anyway. But I'm gonna just take this one. Just I'm going to go for that stuff. That is, you know, really way up there. That is like close as you can be to like a number two. That's almost like pure white. So I'm going to go for the sky first and see about these. I'm going to knock all these guys down a little bit uh, with white. So. I got a lot of purples and stuff to find. So let's take each pile, split it. I'm not going to do the greens. That those the blue greens, the green and the ochre. Those guys I'm not going to do. Those guys I'm going to cut with yet. Bring them down, cut them. But I'm going to cut them with yellow and oranges and stuff. So I think I'm gonna get all the grasses out of those those guys, these guys probably right here. But I wanted to knock these guys down right away and see if I can get that sky color. So this is just a uh, phthalo green, just a little bit of blue and a ton of white. Shooting for, so right now I'm at, I'm really right now I'm at a close up. Three. Mine needs to come up a little bit more and it needs a lot of yellow too. We're going to get that though. Just going to bring it up just a little bit more. That's good. Let's do the blue too. Same way. Probably don't need all that. It's going to eat, eat, eat up all my white again. That'll be nice too. That's going to be in there too. Good. Not a waste of color. Always, you know, 
don't want to waste your, your guys' time mixing up extra colors that you might not need. But this perp blue, in fact, it's going to be a nice transition right up here into this green, blue green. And then that's going to transition into the yellow orange. Should work out pretty cool. I'm going to take these guys down too, just a little bit. I'm not going to go as far. These guys need to be closer to a, a, a six. And that's not going to be six at all. That's not even close. That is way too much color. Too much. Uh, so that was uh, oxide red and blue. See, that's the color I was thinking about. And that's all in there. This is on the blue side, and that's going to be all in there. This, or oxide red, I just finish, finish it for me. Today. Then I get them about the same value, so I'm squinting at them. It's on the blue side, that's on the purple side, those guys are playing really well together, creating all the, all that stuff. This is the cad red and blue mix. Oh, save myself some trouble here. This makes another nice purple, a little warmer than that one, right? Cad reds. Okay. Add red and blue. See, you're going to be able to get some nice things out of this. That's going to, you hit me, hit this right. This paint is done. This is on the blue side, it should be a little grayer. That nice, a gray blue. You can see that all the way through the back of this painting back in here. That's going to be nice. Okay. So, cad red and blue. This is on the cad red side. This is on the blue side. Coming down with the white, they look really good together. Um, also, you can tell that's blue. Cad red and blue. That's really close to the sky. And the red side pretty much nails it. Except for on my computer. It's, my computer says it's, it's a little cooler. No, it's not that. Yeah, it's this. My computer screen says it's a mix of uh, Venetian and blue. That color is that color. Just got to value wise, got to come up. So a mix here, one more mix. Sorry, guys. Value-wise, just a little too dark, but this is going to work as the main one of the main colors up here in the sky, in the top of the edge. This is the purple. So if it's Venetian. Hopefully, you know that's that Venetian. Burnt, you know, that's Venetian, Venetian blue, blue and white. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the blue side a little bit, but it's it's a mix, pretty good, even mix of both, kind of a great, you know, gray-wise. It's nice, smoke, smoky gray. This looks really red, but uh, it's not, it's it's really has a lot, lot more blue in it. But uh, that's going to work great. These two, uh, the, I'm sure you can get these guys in here too to work. Um. Okay, our greens are left here. We need to, I need to pop these guys. I need a few really nice, stronger greens. Uh, so I'm gonna go cad red, in, cad yellow into each of these guys. Take them, take them up. They're still gonna be dark. They're probably gonna be around what, fives? Fives, maybe sixes, you're done. Adding in some color. This is on the 
ochre side here. This is on the blue side. I want still want that blue to show through. I don't want these guys to be too close. They are too much the same like that. Really just hit, hit one with more blue in it. Just really get that blue. We need a, we need a really shift, good shift in color, uh, green wise. And so, because I want to get that back in here. I don't know if you might just add just a touch more yellow to it, just to make sure. Okay, good starting points for my greens now, right? You know, you can see the greens coming coming out of here. Yeah, these greens are almost perfect already for these darker spots. Uh, what we need, though, for you guys to keep coming. Yeah, so, so split these piles. Because these piles are going to get really a lot, take a lot of cad yellow to them. Like almost, you know, three quarters cad yellow, one quarter, a little bit of green. That's how hot, well, oh, value wise, we got to get up, get these things up there. Let's do this one too, same thing. Yeah, their colors are off though, but these ones. I'm not going to change. Looks almost just like that one. So let's put some cat orange into this one. This should really start to get me all over it in here. That's going to get me all over it here. Just the cat orange. Let's start off with blue and ochre on the ochre side. Came down with. Uh, some cad yellow or, or this yeah that was came down with some cad yellow and then I'm just really hit the cad yellow down here and then uh, also put in some cad orange and hit orange one more time too I really want a mustardy kind of color down here at the end to get in here and hopefully I can get into the tree this other side here, got a lot of cad yellow in. Let's put some cad red into it. You get kind of, kind of a burnt kind of color too here. So kind of reds to work in here. Get in uh, can here you again. can you repeat what that is, uh, please, Jim? No, no, that's it. One time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start off with no, 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 actually, no problem. Uh, start off with the, the blue and uh, ochres. Here we added cad yellow. Here we added a lot more cad yellow. This is on the blue side. Here I added cad red to it instead of on this side, I added cad orange to it. And this side, I added cad red to it. Uh, cad red nailed the tree. Did a nice job of getting that tree color, that the leaves and everything. So that tells me, okay, that's really good. That's that's a good spot to work with. This one's just a little dead. The kind of it's not, it's but it, it's in the grass. It's in the grass a lot of places. So that's good. Take a little piece of these guys if you if you have time too. Just stick it over here by the wall by the blues. To both those guys. We're gonna make get the rest of the sky out of those guys. But these guys I want to work on a little bit more. I need we need a few more colors uh, uh, for this tree. This yellow is really this the rest really did a nice job in here. But um, I want to hit with yellow too, just to pop it pop it a little bit more. So this is cad red. I'm going to pop it again with some, some cad yellow just for because I need some lighter uh, leaves in here too and some parts of trees back there. This is good, but uh, I wanted to just see if I could pop this, make a difference. Okay. 
Also, I'm probably gonna do this again too. Just hit it really, can red a little bit stronger than that. Just because I think I can get that in there underneath and into some of these sheep, and maybe even into this these rocks here, just a little bit of white. So this stuff should just now start to this very simple little palette. I'm gonna add just take a piece of this and add just a little bit of white to it. Just to get this kind of color here if I can use it down here, a few spots. Into the sheep, definitely gonna be into the sheep. So the sheep are taken care of. We've got all these purples for this, the cool sides of the sheep. We got these oranges here for the warm sides. We got a little sky. We got a little bit of this. Uh, also, I was looking at. I need to get that in that big uh, shape here, right? This purple kind of. Well, it's kind of purple, but it's it, it's not purple, but it's uh, has a lot of uh, orange and stuff in it. So I'm thinking it comes from this. It should this is reflecting from the tree. This is the tree color. So if it's reflecting from the tree, it's got a little purple on it. So let's steal some purple from one of my palettes here. Darken it down a little bit. So I'm just using the purple gray from uh, with cad red and blue in some, and I'll get that, get it down and it'll work. That's all you have to do. Okay, all we need to do is finish the sky. We need a, uh, you know, some yellow warms and uh, and some oranges at the top bottom. And that's why I put these guys over here. They need to be about the same value as that. That even might be a little too rich right now. It needs to be dulled down a little dead. It's a little bright. <clears throat> What I'm going to use is the toning of the canvas to kill these colors, take the color out of it. And this is a just, as you can tell, just not, not. going to go for value first and I'm going to, sh I'm going to shift it because that one did not do anything. Uh, this is what are we yellow. doing? <laughs> I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> Hold on. What are we okay. doing? Yeah, that, yeah, I, I, I'm, making I'm not sure where you finish. got that one, too. I told you guys. To In take fact, I, of these I forgot piles, we were watching this. I just of... tried to put you on pause. <laughs> no one pauses me, damn it. Um, now, I took them down. Okay, this is where I got them from. I took them from these two piles. I took a piece oh. from each, each one of these two piles. This is. Uh, without the, this is on the red side. This is on the yellow side, the orange side. Uh, I took them over, took a pieces over here, and I just hit them with white. What I want to do is All get right. them right about the same value as this. And this is for the sky. Right. And I was just talking about these colors here look really rich and too bright for what I'm right here. So I might have to tone them down these colors down just one more step there. And I was also saying, I was hoping the tone I put down on the canvas will also tie these guys down a little bit and together. So this one, I'm gonna go just a little more red to it. So this one has just a little more cab red to it. Oh boy, that's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Okay, I need that color but I need a slightly darker too. I need that color. And I need this, this, both these colors. I could go with just a little bit more yellow in. So stealing some of these, these colors over here, just popping them up a little bit. There we go. Getting this mustardy kind of color here. Okay, if nothing else, I know how I'm, where I got it. It's just basically white and this, with this green and uh, yellow and stuff coming all the way down. 
this one needs to be more red. That's why I was thinking there's just a little bit of cad red together to it. They get me into here. And then I'm done. I'll go over the colors. We'll just use these. These will work. Uh, I guess I could have done, need to take these two down a little bit more too. One more step to get them bright too. Just for this, where I can get the reflections in the water. So take, take a few of these guys down just to have it. Use up all my white. There we go. Ooh, a lot of white in that one. I'm not sure. You know, this is it's nice to have this stuff because of these mixes here are definitely gonna be in here. You might even find these 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 guys over here in it too. These guys are just a little strong yet, but I'm gonna leave them. I think I take care of it on the other end. Okay, color wise, here's here's how we make what, what we made, and I'll tell you where they go, so you guys can get a head start on. Them. Uh, we start off with uh, Venetian and blue. This is on the Venetian side. This is on the blue side. Uh, so that these trees here and a little bit of the darkness, uh, maybe even back in here. Uh, then we add white to them, right, them right around sevens. Then we brought, then I mixed, took a piece of both these guys together and came up with this color and add a little more white to it. That is this color up here. It is the, the cloud bank up top. It looks cool, but in fact, uh, it looks a lot more red here, but it is really more blue. It does have a little bit of this in it. This is cad red and blue up here. This is cad red side. This is slightly more on the blue side, but still very strong cad red. Coming down with white. Uh, as you can see, this has a lot of warmth. These guys are gonna be, all these colors right here have a nice relationship. They're gonna build all the banks and get underneath here and do a lot of the, the, the dirt and the grass tones. Speaking of grass, we start right here for the back trees. Um, this is just blue and ochre. This is more ochre than blue. Bringing those down, I just cut them with cad yellow. So I wanted to get some, some of these other greens going, the mid-tone greens, not too many of them, just a few. And then over here, that, then I hit them again, really strong with yellow, cad yellow again to get them to this point. Uh, then on this one, I added cad orange to. This one I added cad red to. These guys are gonna play into the trees and into the grasses, lightening them up. On the cad red side, I mix up, I put in some more cad, cad yellow here, uh, added a little bit of blue to it over here before I can get the shed, this uh, reflection. And then I added some more cad reds to it because I think it's gonna be in this tree and then uh, this paler color could be into this rock formation down here or into the into the goats themselves, especially that head that's orange. And then uh, I took these two yellows back here, the ones that came down with the blue and the ochre colors and the cad yellows. Uh, this one on the red side, I brought over here and added white to it. This one's slightly a little more cad red I added to it, trying to get a little more of this going in here at the sky. And then uh, this one I added uh, is turned more yellow because it was on the orange side. Here, that's going to go up in here and might be a little bit bright, but it can also go into goats and things like that. So there we have it. Nice, easy paint, right? Easy. I told you this isn't too easy. Wait till next week's hard one. And, we got to come and Jim, the blue easy one. The blue at the very end, that's, um, that was uh, blue and what? Oh, over here? Yes. Oh, this is, yeah, this is blue and uh, phthalo green. Right, right. This is on the blue side. 
this is on the phthalo green side. Sorry, I didn't say anything about that. You know, even if, you know, I might end up, okay, end up adding, trying these with just a little, see the green I get out of these guys too at the end. I might end up using some of that if I feel like uh, redoing some things. Oh, where it's supposed to fall. All right, one second here. Won't go again. All right, let's grab. Uh, I'm going to be painting a coming back here. Oh, Jane's here. Hi, Jane. Uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're stayed awake. Oh, yeah. Yep, I'm tuning in for sure. <laughs> oh, I understand. Yeah, I mean, thanks for joining. It was, it's wouldn't a miss it. I wouldn't miss it. It's a beautiful picture. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yep, I'm going to do it. Think, you know, I think big brush, guys, if you use a big brush on this and you don't get into the detail, it's really get the big areas in as fast okay. as you can with a big brush. Don't be aggressive. Uh, take the brush, big brush, as far as you can go in the painting before you, you switch off to a smaller brush. And, okay. Uh, this thing should be blocked in within... Like, 20 minutes, you know, it should be able to block it in. Okay. Should be able to. Got all the colors. We're set. Let me see. Get everything else going here. Make sure life's good. And all we got to know is, Linda, are you hammered yet? Did, we, did I say that I... Jim, I'm always <laughs> hammered. Did I... <laughs> say enough uh, stuff yet no you've been really careful you have hardly said it at all that's sort of sad <laughs> that's not the gym i know and stuff and stuff and stuff there yeah, you go i made stuff. up for it jim and stuff jim and stuff swanson yeah more stuff <laughs> oh jeez oh jeez oh jeez <laughs> anyway you like in florida move down there. You must love it. Uh, I'm going to tint my canvas with uh, uh, if you have Venetian out or some burnt sienna probably would. I think I said burnt sienna with a little cad red would work. This it might she's going to blame me for not telling her the right cad red. You know if I it probably could have been a cooler red to use probably could have got away should have been probably lizard <clears throat> so you're having probably your colors there uh down under you know uh you know it's because of i gave you the wrong mixture probably for no no it worked it worked don't worry okay all good all good there you go. Okay. Just, you know, you know, you know me. I'm just trying to be conscientious. Worry about this stuff. Worry about everything. I worry about the wor world. There we go. I think I'm stopping there. I think I nailed it. I mean, I just got to put that tree in right there and we're done. There we go. I think you guys, thanks for joining on that one. That was fun. Nice reflection. See how I put this this is this is the magic right there that brush it's gonna is it's gonna do this painting it's so fast gotta have confidence too a little bit of confidence goes a long ways in painting Jim, you know, you when you know the steps you know you can all dance a little bit not very good but you don't have any safflower oil on there yet, is that right? Uh, just what I had in the brush. Okay. You know, I had, I dipped the brush in a little bit of safflower okay. oil and mixed it and mixed it in. Okay. Just to get to get it to run. 
and now I'm just, you know, basically I took it a little easier in the sky because a lot of the sky is going to be a little pretty pale. Yeah. No reason for having that much right. red in there. Yeah. At least yeah. at least at the bottom, you know. Uh, and then uh, just going to make that little, you know, area here. Oh, that doesn't even come out. That's really just a jagged. Okay, I'm going to make give it a little more angle, at least that area there of the rock here. Just give it a little more angle going up. You have this color. This is a great color. This is a really was a good choice of color because it's really already in here. It really is this most of the damage in here. Okay, that goes back there. Land goes this way. Just get a little bit of arc to it. More arc there, and then uh, probably a little too high, but I'm gonna get the tree to go right in here, a little angle to it, not quite that much. Okay, and then right there. Um, right here is gonna be pretty clean. We could take. Uh, just a little bit of oil and let me just wipe it out a little bit cleaner for kind of remind myself where everything is kind of going. Knowing that this is going to be white sky reflection in here and sky up here. I don't need to go quite that high with a lot of this stuff. A lot of bump in there. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Our darkest darks. Well, not too many of them really. Uh, the darkest stuff we have is back in here, behind here, and it's really not quite that dark, but I'm going to start give it some life. I'm not going to really worry about uh, the trees at this point at least the trunks and stuff, because they're just going to get in the way. So let's just work on, uh, I'm going to put a little blue. Uh, this is a Venetian and blue right here, Venetian and blue, you know, in these back areas here a little bit. Maybe more, a little more Venetian-y on the bottom tone. I think that's going to be nicer. And then uh, get these little, three little trees going in here, get, get the basic squares of them. And then this one over here on the other side of this tree. This, I'm gonna start with blue at the top, a little more blue on the top area. Gonna to be some green going in. And then I'm gonna put a little more on the red side. So this is Venetian on the red side, Venetian and blue. This is on the red side. Let's put that right at the bottom areas of this, of these, uh, this whole greenery. Just get that in there. That will tie it, tie it down, tie this stuff down right to the ground. And this will give it air. The blue will give it air. The, the red will tie it down. Over here, the same thing, just a little more red at the bottom of the of this this area here with the blues. Just a little bit on the Venetian side. I'm gonna worry about I got a tree here and stuff. I'm just gonna probably gonna replace that over here a little bit. I don't like too close to the edge here for me. Okay. That's about as high as I can go. I might shrink these guys down just a hair. Okay. Think about the, okay, even start getting some of that blue now. Go back to the blue. 
side. Think about these little areas down in here where you're going to have, uh, uh, we're here on the banks going through here, the little zigzags. And just get a little bit of this color in there now. It's done. That's, you know, just a little bit dark. It's going to be a little more probably closer towards the bottom edges where you're going to see color see the blue really sh show through a lot of it's going to be more of the red showing through on this bank but um we need the dark of the red of the blue to uh you know really hold this the contrast to get this painting to, you know this stuff to come forward so that's where i'm really starting to Right now, I'm starting to just use it a little bit stronger right in here. Kind of thin back in here. But now it's going to be a little bit stronger right here on the bank. This, at least this one bank here. Mixing with a little bit of the, more of the Venetian I mixed in there, a little heavier. And then this is that uh, little bit of uh, bank showing over on this side. Gonna doesn't have to be too strong either. It's in this one. I don't, it's more blue, but that's what's gonna make this uh, really kind of a yeah, red or orange uh, bank side pop a little bit. So the more blue I got in here and sheet it over here a little bit more. I don't have anything over here, so I, I'm just gonna bring this over a little bit farther, get it out of that spot. Yeah, look, kind of crank, a little weird. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go uh, move. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the, uh, this is the cad red and blue. This is on the cad red side. It's really, really in, kind of like almost a burnt orange, you know? And I'm just gonna put it in here a little strong for now. And then lighten it up as I come back. When I come back, I'm gonna lighten it up with another color. But I'm just gonna, instead of putting it in the other, putting in a lighter value, then coming back and put the, the shadows in, I'm gonna come back and uh, paint around the paint it a little bit different. Okay. That could go a little, and this is the blue side. This is just a little bit more blue into it, into that color. Uh, and I can start to bring that into this bank again. This has that, just a slightly cooler Venetian in it. Blue and uh, Venetian right there in this, this spot. So now I'm bringing in a little more warmth here and there. And on this corner, one little, one little piece right down here in the bank it just pops, pops out of there. Okay, these guys look good. This stuff over here, and just touch it in. This is this that kind of kind of grassy bank on this the other side. And it's not going to get much. And I just go with the cad red and blue now mix. And go a little bit deeper. I'm going to probably come back and uh, when I paint the water and push this stuff back a little bit. But I want to push it out right now. You know, let's come out a little bit into the water and then push it back with uh, the next color. This is again that cat red right here. I need to get this. I started it with blue, but it needs to be cat red. More cat red in it right there. We'll let, leave it, let, make some marks. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
this is really thin. Um, like I don't have any, I'm just using the oil still pretty much what's on the, on, uh, the canvas a little bit and uh, basically just almost like a watercolor right now, bringing it in here, it's little by little. Because most of this color back in here, I don't want, I don't want too much going on there. And there's only a couple of places that get like any real paint at all. Everything's gonna be, you know, pretty subtle back here. So if you put gobs of paint back there, you're gonna, you know, pop. So keeping it thin uh, like this also does, does uh, really lights it up, keeps it light. Okay, just gonna put start putting in a little bit of blue gray. This color here is also gonna be my sky. My cloud, my blue purple cloud up top. Um Jim, just with this yeah. uh just where you were before. Where was I before? Um, and you said keep it really thin. Yes, I did, didn't which, I? Which which color was that again? Uh, that was the blue, uh, cad, cad red and blue mix. All right. Okay. And if, it's really, really thin. I mean, it's thin. just, yeah. 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 I'm not letting it, keeping it very transparent. Um, at, at this point, yeah, everything's, nothing has white in it, white in it to that point. Now I just switched over to, uh, to painting in this this the top sky uh, um, cloud right here and I'm so gonna paint that in to block it in nice and clean really not too many strokes I don't want showing through the all the weight of the paint the white in it, in it should push it down I mean keep it be able to make it really clean I found that color the reason I'm going what with this color is because I just put it right here on this little embankment here, parting this little slope. I saw it there. And when I, you know, sometimes you see it and you just know where else it was, it, this would go, you know? So I just want to make sure I got it in there really quick before I went and, uh, you know, used it all up someplace stupid, you know? But it's going to be the highlights probably for half the stuff down in, in this in this bottom area here. I don't want to give this this area here even like I said too much love. Just a few spots. I'm I kind of probably just already wiped out my darks. Um, but that's what I'm going to do there. That's at least my plan. And it's it's good to have a plan when you go ahead and start these things, knowing that you know, how this, this, the colors are just going to marry into each other. Now we do the greens and three quarters of the painting will be, you know, have a place, you know, be going. Um, so we're going to go to the, uh, the blue green. This is uh, just blue and ochre, right? Blue and ochre. Right back in here, behind this tree. There's a good spot for it, really strong spot. It's gonna, that ochre's basically, it has a lot of uh, opaqueness to it. So it's gonna be able to get in here and do a nice nice job of mixing up with some of these, that all those colors we put in earlier. Cause it just, you know, that it just sticks, sticks kind of funny. You know, compared and to that, compared to compared to transparent colors, and the, and the real dark part that you have with the blue and the uh, the phthalo and the ochre is that behind the big tree, uh, or beside? Sort of. The, no. It's not behind the big tree. It's beside it. Yeah. Yeah, it's beside yeah. it. Yeah, it's beside it. It goes right into here, but it also I kind of want to get it. It's going to push this tree out too. So the closer you can get it in there, you know, it's okay to have it go in because with the colors we're going to be using, you know, as we go, they're all going to be more uh, opaque. 
because you got the calves in them and then you have the white in them. So, um, if, you know, you know, they're going to start popping out a little bit more. So I'm going to put it into this tree back in here, a little bit closer back in here. In this area, it's a little bit stronger too. I'm trying not to, he says, you see, I'm just kind of touching, 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 trying not to get rid of the purple that I have in there too. I'm bringing it in and then I'll go to my other greens. Let's go to the, this is the one with the more okra in it and see what this does. I think I can get it, you know, at least, you know, doesn't do that, not that spot. So it's more in, in this area here, value wise. I'm just gonna put it in clumps for bushes. And I give it, not over touch it. For over here, I think I can get a little bit more warmth on the edge here. Okay, that's as far as I can go with it. Okay, I'm going to go with the next step down. With just when I added just a little cad, cad uh, yellow to it, hue it to it. Yeah, that's not the right one there. It is over here in this one tree over here on the outside there's you catch it you can catch it in the middle of this tree it's just kind of a green ish right there so i'm going to put that in there for that you can start to see it build right behind this tree here too a little bit of that green coming through so just touching it touching it drawing it down going to the next spot just leaving a couple you know don't blend it too much that's all i can just say just don't it will blend blend it to death we want variations of color to show see that oh i don't want to take it all away okay um I don't think that other green really plays into it right there. Uh, I'll get a little warmth in the bottom of that tree. Starting to think about this grass even now. Okay. Let me see. It's a little bright for it. Probably could use a little white to it. So this color is, uh, again, can, well, it is uh, ochre and blue, just cad yellow. I just grabbed a little purple, white, white purple, using it as a white to lighten up this, this area here kill this color, the green down a little, little bit, but it's the same green as I use right here, but I just put a little purple white from uh, my neighboring pile. And I think I can use that back in here a little bit, these grasses here. Pretty simple. Which, which one's that one again? This is uh, the ochre version of, of, of blue, ochre and blue, but it's on the ochre side with the cad right yellow. A lot. And uh, what I did is I took a little bit of this really high key uh, cad red and blue mix with white, probably like a number, way up there, probably like a number two. I grabbed a little bit of that because of the pink in it or the purple kind of, kind of color would kill the green a little bit. And that's why I, why I put it in there. I put it in there because I want to get this stuff back in, in the background, just a little cooler. So when I put the stuff in the front, 
it's going to you know pop a little bit better. So I'm going to be using a lot of these uh, same value of uh, purples, grayed out purples and greens together now to do the rest of this area here. There's a big shadow right in here that gets to go in. But I wanted to get the warmth and you know, some of the other stuff in, you know, above it. So I'll be just gonna be playing with my greens as I come forward, keeping the cooler areas, you know, to this area down in here. And then just this area here is gonna be where I use my, you know, the ones where we really pounded the yellow under the green. So these ones are gonna be, we can use this, uh, these uh, yellow greens, these other yellow greens, but not with uh, quite as much cad in them or cad orange or cad red in them for down back in here. Jim, are you using the same brush still? Yeah. Okay. Still have not changed. After all these years, I haven't changed. See, I should be a songwriter, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Just can't sing. I'm just gonna bring this green down a little bit, let it be a little, let it, let it mix, but as you can see, I'm just, you know, dabbing it, but just not, you know, going crazy mixing. I don't want to, I want to leave a lot of this stuff happening. I want to be able to see both colors when I'm done. So there's a little patches of, of little cooler areas of green in here too. So that's where I'm going back in right now. I'm just giving these und undulations a little bit of work. This one's gonna be a little bit right here. Is this little bit of mound coming down. It's a little grayed out. Uh, it's probably gonna have a little more blue in it. So I might even go with the come back here. And this is the go, I went back, going back here. I'd go, I'm going all the way back to my first colors of blue and uh, uh, Venetian together. And I think it's almost more on the Venetian side than the blue side. It looks like at least on the top of the mound, it could be a little more red and a little cooler as it gets down in here, right? And I'm just doing very vertical strokes. I'm not even uh, playing too hard. I'm bring it all, it should go all the way back into here, into this other mound here. So I'm gonna be working a little more of that blue in there, or cat, cat, Venetian, and go into the green a little bit there. And there, those are like, definitely I was saying, working vertical strokes coming straight down. And then when you get down here and stuff, and you wanna make something like pop, go against the grain so you know you get to the bottom of the, the mound and there's just a little bit of hint of light and so if you go with a horizontal stroke in there it's going to call it out which you just did it's going to call it out and then I'm going to look for a few other spots like that red goes this is going to be I'm going to the cad red in fact on this one I'm going to go back to the cad red and blue version just to build up this one little area here, you can see, you can see the orange, the warmth in it coming around. And, and it's nice to have that, you know, the, the cool version of it with the blue, the Venetian and the blue together and then make a nice cool version of it. But then you have this cad orange or cad red and blue mix going with it. Uh, yeah, and that just like does everything. Does look. this painting just you know, like I said, almost paints itself at this point. 
I'm just, just, just following marks, just following where I think it goes. My brush is, you know, directional, looking at the directions of things, knowing that that, how that, if I lay my brush the same way, I can make that mark. That's all the thing that I look for, for going with the grain on this thing. So I'm gonna warm up this area over here now. I right, don't forget about it. Doesn't look like I forgot about it. Didn't forget about it. Okay, that I didn't forget about yet either. Works right in there. I'm already to my green, my bright greens now. Sometimes you get a little bit of a dark green in here first. That's not even dark. But get just get a little coolness in, into it into these little areas here. Get those guys in because of, uh, it's gonna make make everything hotter, having a little coolness to it. Makes, uh, makes everything a little hotter. So, just a little bit back in here, a little bit more. Got a lot of different greens going on in my brush. And that's half the thing is just paying attention to what's on your brush, what colors it's causing, and seeing that like, okay, it's dirty. I got a dirty dirty green in my brush now. That could go a lot of different places. I mean it's when you got a lot of greens like this. You know, you get up, get up here and stuff. You can definitely start working up into the, where the light is going to be hitting these trees a little stronger, you know, you get that, you're gonna get that. And it's just a nice variation of color. All right. Turn this back. Need this stuff, that stuff. All right. Okay. Just going to hit this thing, clean my brush a little bit, get a little bit of that darkness out so I can get in here. I'm going to start on the, um, this is the cat red side. And I want to see if I you know, put it in here, how much it jumps compared to that. So this does come at me a little bit faster and that sits back. I'm just gonna bring it, bring it right into these, these cooler air pockets and let let them just kind of work themselves out who's gonna win and who's who's popping and where and stuff just to have it glow. Okay. Very transparent, very keeping it very simple. Okay, this is just, I have not even used the CAD orange uh, version yet. This is all just the CAD red uh, side of that uh, green doing that. Now, gonna, this is the CAD orange side. It's going to start coming in right in here. And oh boy, it's not even probably strong enough. I probably almost have to put more yellow into it. But oh, that's always something we can catch later. Thought that would be a lot brighter. Can put some more yellow in it. See if I can. If it helps. Well, yeah, you know, closer. Kind of push the push the orange right out of it. There we go. Um, that's the key thing is not to start taking this color and working it too much down in here yet, because uh, that's where you're going to flatten out your painting. If you start taking this color, that's just meant for 
this little area and maybe, you know, the tree, parts of the tree. But if you start putting it in down here too much, you know, little spots like that, okay. Don't get carried away because that all starts, will start coming forward uh, really fast and uh, just knock this stuff out right out of, right off and, and flatten it out. And Jim, yeah. the, the, the green that's just before that dark part, you know, in the middle, uh, just behind where, you, yeah, the green right in front of that. I don't know, you had it already. Back here? The green in front of, the green in front of this dark bit. Green the in shadow, here? yeah, that green. What green is that one? Oh, that is uh, cad, uh, that's uh, cad yellow, phalo, uh, blue, no, just blue and uh, ochre. Oh, okay. And that is on the blue side. Okay. But in in this in the shadow area though, that is uh, Venetian and blue. Uh, all the way back after I had that green in there, I put those got put those guys right on top. Okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, like I said, I don't get too carried away with using too much of this warmth everywhere you'll flatten it out this still didn't get still didn't pop as much as i thought it would maybe it's because i need more red in it i made that that cat orange up so it's like i feel you always feel like got to use it so that's where I, I made it for this color spot maybe it's not that not maybe that's not that that spot would be wrong that's the cad red side that almost works that works a little bit better in fact you see this is almost the tree color right here going in yeah going into this outside edge here that feels a lot better than okay never mind we didn't need that color so if you're mixing this color you don't need the cad orange version that much but make it anyway um, all right, let's, what are we going to do? Uh, going to build the, got to build the trees and stuff. Um, I'm going to put this guy down for now and go to a bristle brush and, uh, lay in the trees, uh, this, this tree. Um, I'm going to look for the darkest one first. That's this little section up here. It's pretty much kind of a triangle with another little noogie off it. And then this up here, I'm gonna take it easy on this up there though. I'm gonna get those, do those pieces first. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Uh, this is a, a stronger cad red version of it. There's a little more shirt, uh, cad red in, in the, into the color. That color again came from Again, it came from blue, ochre, uh, cad yellow, and then I added cad red, and I added more cad red. Um, and this is when I added more cad red to it. Uh, you know, and I want to put that right in this little triangle spot. I kind of left it, left it up there. It's going to go up a little higher than, I'll have to push that sky up a little bit. Okay, and then a couple little noogies of, of the tree there. Probably pushed a little bit of everything up a little bit high, didn't I? Oh, well, it'll work. Okay, I went a little bit farther than I thought I was going to go. With that color because I started seeing it. I want to get it in, in, in a few spots here too. And uh, so I'm now going to go with the green version of it, a little more green added to the color, back the same color, a little more green to it. Um, the green is just basically back to the 
without just a touch of red added to it. And it's going to go over, be going over this dark um, area here, back in here anyway. So it's going to darken down just a little bit. I'm going right around this hole in there. So this is just a little more green to it. Tying these guys together. Not going to, like I said, not even worrying about the, the tree, the parts of the tree at the bringing that over into here a little bit into this side of the tree and bring it also look for it while I got it on my brush now look for it just on this guy a couple pushes with the bristle and you got it you might look for it right here too right in here that separates this mound uh, from the trees back there a little bit as it gets dirty. As it gets dirty, you can find a few other spots for it. Um, also, I was going to go back to that a little more red to it. And right here on, on this, this back tree there too, gets a little bit of that orange to it. So if we get that in there, it'd be great. Okay. All right. Now we just need the brightness to it. I'm not sure if I have that though. I don't think that. Let me try this. This is the, the yellow part of it. I don't know. You know, I think it goes right in here. I don't look bad. That's just the highlights. So basically, you build it, uh, do the guts to the inside, work the next color around that goes around it, and then just I'm all I'm doing is hitting the highlights of this. Touch a little more orange to to the end of this color. I like the yellow, but more a little more cad cad red into this light color and get this you know how it goes up and get some height to that thing using the yellow to just break up the shape here and same in here just the insides of this tree and that's it the tree except for the few little uh things look over here under this tree a little bit get a little a little more orange and yellow over here, but not much. I'm going to try and put the rest of that orange and yellow, you know, right here and see if I can get this area to work a little bit stronger. Maybe it's because of this is too light. Yeah, I don't have my darks, kind of wiped out my darks right in there. So that's probably why. Just going to mix in some of this ye yellow orange with this purple I have over here. Don't mind me. I'm just kind of just goofing off here. Just, you know, putting in colors anywhere. No. I am looking to, you know, I saw that, that there's some warmth coming through here. Probably touch too yellow, but that'll be fine. I might as well get this shape here, one of them here, this, this uh, shape in the water. This one, oh, we just put uh, a little purple into that, uh, that uh, orange. And uh, it comes, you know, basically, straight down from that. Just gonna draw a couple straight lines all the way down. Add maybe just a little more red to it, red purple to, to, the, to that 
to make it different and then get a couple widths here. Okay. So this, these are just straight vertical strokes. Straight down. Okay. And that should do it. I'm going to work that color. I'm going to get a little more purple. I'm going to go back. This is our red purples. These are Venetian and blues with white. These are on the Venetian side. And you can start seeing how they're going to work right here in the into the water here. Probably putting them in too soon, I think, because uh, these are kind of probably could go nicely on top of the water, of water and stuff. But uh, I'm going to re put them in. I'm going to go back to that. I got to put this blue back in. This is a blue in the Venetian. And I got to put it right here on the edges again. Kind of washed everything away when I was trying to uh, lighten things up here a little bit and uh, kind of just uh, transparent wise, you know, just wiped it all out. It was so without that contrast here, that yellow doesn't pop. You don't have this dark next to it. So I'm gonna get that in there and then you're gonna find a lot of times this this little section here takes care of itself without you doing uh, too much work to it. Just gonna darken in this little corner here so nothing happens. Got a little darkness to it. Again, we can go back in here and play a little bit. Now it's though, it starts to get muddy. You start to get uh, this bristle. Sometimes that's what happens when you start playing. It, it just keeps picking up color and it doesn't always lay it down nicely. So that's why I'm, it's a good time to go back to the synthetic because this thing is going to spread this yellow into a purple into another color and it just makes mud. And I can see it happening. So it's a good time to put it down. And uh, I've already made it. mud. You made mud? Well congratulations. We got mud pies. <laughs> we got mud pies. <laughs> yeah we're good at mud. <laughs> Mud's good. Mud's not always bad. Okay. Let's take and do the sky now. And block, and this would be pretty much a block in, right? And we're at 8:30, so you know, been painting for less than an hour, and we're close to block in. Uh, I'm gonna go with my light colors. Let me see these guys. These guys, I'm hoping that they're gonna pick up a little bit of color here. Yeah, they're gonna be too bright. That's gonna be too bright. All right, uh, you know. Kind of darken those guys down. Put a little bit of Venetian into them. Just to gray them down a little bit. Venetian, by the way, is what, you know, what we toned the canvas with and which I was hoping it was gonna tone this guy down just a little bit more. Not bad though. It's okay. We're okay. So that's got to go down. Still didn't get bright. This is the blue. I'll push it up here. I'm not going to be able to. Uh, I kind of blew, blew in here too, a little tighter than was on this thing. So. I'm going to keep the same shape of the cloud. I like that. I go to the greener part, more aqua. Try to get it though.
That's a little bit, probably more yellow. I think maybe, maybe the yellow might help it. So I'm gonna bring this in, go through the tree a little bit, catch the outsides a little bit. Push that side down a little bit. That's the thing is when you start touching these things, at some point you have to, you know, stop, clean your brush, or else you're going to be touching everything. It's just going to kind of push around. Go back, you got clean color. Start over on this edge. Finish this before I come back. And I'll come back and just push this back down a little bit. And then start cutting, cutting in a little bit from the sides. Just a little bright, yeah. Yeah, value-wise, I'm just off a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try to make up, make up for it there. And uh, just got a little bit bright, dark, quickly. So go back to the other side, okay. A little bit too dark, but we'll get some stuff in here. Start to just touch up a few spots in this purple a little bit. You got a nice, a nice clean color going through there. So you only need a little bit of touches of blue from left over from this stuff to get in there to, uh, you know, just tone it with a few spots. So work together. All right. Now it's basically going to uh, yellow green. It's going to be a yellow green when I'm done. So basically, I'm hedge my bet now because my bet that was so strong. I just put some, take my yellow white I made up and put it in here. Put it in my whiter uh, aqua color. Get it in nice and easy first. You know, make sure you got the color in. Right. And just one run across it just for the blend. Pretty much does it. And come back and just hit a few spots. Bring it down a little bit farther now. Now I'm going to go to the yellowish orange. I'll push this guy back a little bit. I got a little bit too big, a little bit too much. So I'm going to clean my brush because I touched that too much. Push them down a little bit farther. There we go. Clean my brush. So when you start getting into this the sky things, you do want to keep it clean. It's the only thing I can do to keep things clean. I'm not that kind of person. Good. All right. I'm even thinking my orange here is yellow you know, orange is going to be way too too light. This is going to be the bottom color. That's about right. That's not bad. I can deal with that. So again, just running it across the bottom here. Run out of paint. Wipe your brush. Grab new stuff. Always wiping it off. I don't want to take my dirty brush back in to my colors. If I do that, I'll pollute the whole pile. And that's why we made piles. We can just keep grabbing paint.
getting there now. Even without having this painted in here, this we pretty much have a block in record time, right? Everybody's blocked in. You're right there with me, right? Right. Well, oh, told you, nice, easy one tonight. And if you're in Australia, you probably got all day to paint, right? You're not even worried about this one. Use that orange up here too, going around the edges of the clouds up there. The oranges I'm using right now are gone back to that orange of the tree and uh, just put a little more white into it. And uh, it's the relationships of color in this thing. That's where I was getting a kick out of when I really look at it and you start seeing the, these aqua colors are pretty much the only thing that pretty much don't have a, you know, a, you know, a place in this painting, but they also, but they just make the oranges glow. So they do have a place in the painting, but they do. Um, just see just around the edges of this, this shape here, there's just a few places where you get a little bit of orange coming into this purple. And then we'll go back to that purple gradient. You know, we start getting these little, uh, small little Clouds here, cloud formations. A lot of times, even with a, just a dirty brush, you can get these little, little, tiny little movements. Clouds. Well, that's. Yeah. Just gonna look at a couple of formations down in here. Seeing where I got some a little bit of light showing through. Wondering why I did probably left stuff. It didn't darken in things. Anyway. I think all of my whites, I probably went too bright on them to see these guys. It happens a lot of times. This one here. That's about on in, in. It's a little cool. We're going to put a little bit more red in, but. This one. A lot of times when you put these reflections in right next to, you know, other like tree reflections and stuff, you you pretty much only get one one stroke down before it's gone. You can't you mix it up too much. So sometimes you just gotta live with it really quick. All right, now we just got cheap to do for another half hour. 32 of those buggers. Nice, easy sheep. 
put a little blue on the bottom, then I'm going to go red on top here. Well, it didn't really read as red. Red to it. And <clears throat> <clears throat> what? <laughs> what I do? No? Okay. Lots of little stuff I've yet to do, but um, bigger stuff's getting in there. Set here, don't. I'm gonna go back and do it, try to do it as quickly as possible, though. Jim, is that like the light purple you're using? Um, yes, it is. It was the uh, Venetian, basically Venetian and wait, no, that was a. Uh, sorry, that was cad red and blue uh, on the red cad red side with a lot of white in it. That's what I was using right there. Okay, thanks. No. You can tell that color, the highlight color in the water, is just a little bit bright. So let's tone it down with some purple. Okay. Back in these banks, just a little bit more, some more cat red and blue. A little much stronger on the cat red side. Uh, just to color pop a little bit more. This area here, I'm going to lighten some. Let's see if I put some cad orange into that color. Use the hair white. Think about this thing. I what I did is I took my last of my cad red, red and blue mix on the red side. I added some cad orange to it, and then just a little bit of white. And uh, just gonna get these this little area down in here a little bit. It's not supposed to be too much of anything, so that's why I'm not going to really look at it too much. Just going to let it be there. There's no goats, no nothing here, no sheep. So just a few marks. 
it's all going to do. This got a little light. I can use a little red orange into this too, a little bit. Just got a little. Stronger too. I don't need that though. All right, so let's put, I'm gonna put in um, the treats. Ooh, look, I got a little paint left over. I'm gonna switch to a uh, smaller synthetic because we're getting down to uh, the thing that's gonna bring this thing to life. So I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of a blue uh, Venetian, Venetian mix, just straight, no white. Um, on the blue side first, here. Fixing that back up. And I'm gonna place the trunk on this front one. It goes right in here, go right in the middle of that section. And come on down. Don't do it too far. It really keeps it right before that little area. Okay, and then the other one comes in right over in here. Same thing, just keeping them back a little bit. I put these guys in with uh, blue first, but then I'm gonna go with a little bit more on the Venetian side really kind of a red side come back in and almost go back into this these trees a little bit and push the red in the areas the trunks here then blend them as they get into the leaves just blend them out a little bit Bluer at the bottom and red at the top. And then go in the middle of these sections here and just touch it, just barely touch it. Just disturb the paint with a little bit of color. All you have to do, you don't have to you know, leave areas blank and then kind of pick it, pick it up later on. You know, just kind of leave a spot. Gets basically it gets thick there, so you don't get to see all the trunk. So you leave a spot. And it thins out as it goes up. And then all of a sudden it twists off one way and gets to this top area. As we get up there, you might even start putting just a little more some cab red into the mix. I want a little bit warmer, a little redder, a little lighter up here when I, when I get to the top echelon of the tree. So it's going to be almost, you can almost put in pure cad red at this time. Right into these things. Just touch it. Straight down and lift it up. And get up here. Especially when you get into this stuff over here too. Just Pure cat red almost into it. You don't want to see those, see it everywhere. You just want to pick up a few uh, branches now. Just I'm looking through here and seeing where I, I could, I got a, needs, you know, you could use a 
a branch of some sort and just look and see if there is one around there. Usually if you, you feel like there should be a branch there, you look around and probably find one. And then this guy over here, he comes up a little bit different. I'm going to paint him with red too, a little bit more. Let's see, he's going to pick up some green and stuff as I go, I go up here. Gets thinner, thinner. Barely touching. Just letting it break. Okay. Up here. Just gonna touch up right here a little bit, keep them soft up here. The very top of this tree. A couple of trees back in here, just just get a little more red in them. We'll go back in now and finish that. Those guys off. Finish this guy off here so he only gets a couple touches. Not much. There's one over here, back in here. Get some orange too. Okay. Look like it probably could go a little bit brighter here too, a little bit, drag that out. I'm not gonna leave that for now, it's good enough. Okay. Right here, just a little bit more yellow there. We'll always watch about how much I put on the outsides like this. You know, if there's something too close here, I don't want anything too distracting. And the edges, sometimes you just want to break these edges so little things are okay. But I watched, I was looking at this yellow here, making sure I didn't, it wasn't going to be too close to a, something there. Look at back to a little bit of just a couple. Oops, oop, too dark. Little stumps back in here. And that. Just a little bit too. Just to break this up and then on to sheep. How to paint sheep. 35, 30 some sheep. All I'm going to do is really capture, look for the shadow, and then look for uh, the highlight. Two highlights, maybe the orange, and then maybe there's a top one coming down on a couple of them. But basically, I'm just going to be painting shapes, trying to look, recognize what shape they are and doing them that way. Um, so I'm going to start off, I'm just going to run through a few colors only too. I'm going to go off with uh, Venetian and uh, blue up here with uh, some white. I'm going to do this my mid-tone. And I'm going to get start going through these sheep here and looking at which ones get this. You know, this guy here pops out right here. And I like to get him in. And it's going to be just, just a little rectangle. That's all he is, a rectangle. His neck comes from one corner, just a touch of a, should put lay down the brush. And that's, now it's just sticks for legs. And a red, just a dot for a head. Think of these other ones here too. 
basically it's just you get the shadow side and then that's it that was, that's that whole section right there now there's one over here i see kind of purple like put him in that's our big guy though this is our big guy so everything you know this just this is the area can be his size everything going back this guy here smaller these guys down in here pretty small keep them small so that's the biggest rectangle we're going to be painting everything over here you know got to be you know i used what almost two widths of this brush so everything else gets to come down to one width when i get back in here and then i'll switch up to to the side of my brush and a little bit lighter colors when i get back in here more whites And uh, like even when you get all the way back in here, get them against those that dark back there. Yeah, you start pushing those shapes together. Maybe I'm now at this point back in here. I'm just doing highlights. And my highlights aren't really that bright. The highlights I'm using are cad red and blue, mid-tone with white. That's what those are right there. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna put dot, you know, a dash for the back, the dash for the back, you know, just tip it a little bit different, a little bit space ways. So all of a sudden I got uh, this whole herd right here done. And the only thing I have to come back and do is put a little shadow underneath a few of these guys and uh, they'll, they'll be fine. Just quit talking so much. Need a giant sheep back there. And those guys are just dashes. And of course, you know, change it up a little bit, you know. Well, that's that. This guy, we'll come back to this guy a little bit. Little ones here. here just These guys are all highlights. Gang, gang them up to a two by two. It looks like they're going like Noah's Ark here. All right, and you got a couple over here. A couple over here, I'm gonna get those guys in. I'm gonna go with the lightest version of, of my light, of my, that's a uh, Venetian and, and blue, or not Venetian blue, that's, uh, that's all right, cad red and blue, cad on the cad red side, and just a lot more white into it. So I think it's the same colors I used in the water here. So, so I'm putting it into most of these sheep here. Just got to get one side of them. I'm gonna get few back in here. There's this guy here. He's just a little bit dots. Dot. This guy probably got a little bit too much. Mostly rim lighting they get. I'm just going to, when I do this, you know, just look for little areas that catch, need some light. Know, with the trees and stuff and dashes. Okay, so those guys back in here pretty much don't get anything else. That's it. They're done. There might be a couple bright ones here and there. More I might bring out. Ones that catch some light, but not all of them. Usually the ones that you can see broadside a little bit.
going back here. Now I'm going to switch over. This is more of the cloud color up here. It's cad, orange, and, and white. Oh, oh, it has a little cad red into it, too. Yeah. No, I need paint. I gotta. I can't do this without adding some paint to it. Gotta have some paint. Started with cad orange and white. I'm adding some cad red to it. And this is going to be pretty much it. I probably made up a few more, lost my spot here a few times. And so I'm making out this guy's herd has gotten pretty big now. Beautiful thing about these guys, it's just uh, you don't have much to do, really. You just kind of uh, get the cool side, get the warm side, and then you're done. And get this guy's head. A little big. Purple and him more too. Get the highlight in back. Basically, just got to touch it just a little bit better than that. Even touch of oil would get it going smooth. Stands up and then touch on the head. And legs. I'm not very good with a little brush. I don't like putting little brushes in my hand. So um, I'm just going to put them in with a knife. On my very kind of dark, kind of a, <clears throat> again, Venetian and blue is my line. I'm just going to put a li little bit on, on my knife here, just enough to draw, to draw with and uh, draw these legs in. Just a little thin, should have been better. More red than the. Uh, Blue too. A little on the red side. Let's come down a little bit. Just
So it just takes a little time to play play with these guys. Not all the sheep either I have black feet too. There are a lot of them catching with that and light feet too. So they just come from them. Back in front. Trying to do that one sheep just a little more love. Gonna get that highlight, and that'll be good. So I told you this is an easy one, right? I think I lost everybody. Everybody's gone on me. What did I do? Well, most of us are probably fainting away. <laughs> fading away? Fading and fainting. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I just saw this. Thanks, thanks, Lynette. Good to hear. Uh, yeah. Got a couple in here. Just way too much. They started becoming even spaced. It's almost better to got to get those guys out of there. They're not so evenly spaced. And again, I'm going to try this one more time with a green hop in that one spot here. We'll see some pure yellow in that. Trying to get that to work. Just touch a few spots back in here and warm them up so it doesn't get too plain. grass right over here. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on the these sheep a little bit more. But uh, That's just one of the things, it's just off fingers and stuff like this. I'm just using the wrong blue, I think I could have used probably the sky blue on his back and probably make him pop a little bit better. Yeah. And then these guys back in here, like I said, just a few highlights. And just a leg and 
sometimes just a leg here and there. Well, the sky's the sky works. And the last little thing I do probably is just add just a few little air things. The light needs this these shapes up back in here, just a little line of a scratch or some sort. Not too white, but uh, just to break these things up a little bit. And you're just going through at the end, just scratching and pushing these things into this area over here a little bit, trying to uh, just to, to darken it up a little bit and get it more interesting. Mm. Scratches in here, lighten this up. I don't just get too heavy with my brush, it's so easy to do. Scratch it out of there. Anyway, I'll bring it in and you guys take a look if you want. Um, there's still a little, some nice highlights that have to go on these uh, sheep and stuff, but kind of uh, just, you know, my back will be to you guys the whole time so you guys won't see any of it. So I'll just do it, do it here. So trying to keep it loose as we go. Um, yeah, there's some little softenings and stuff we're gonna have to push. Soften with my finger like this a little bit on this guy. You know, these this thing too. Not trying to be too clumpy, you know, but to bring things together. Uh, that's what I'm thinking about doing. You guys probably didn't even see what I just did. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, let's see what you guys did. Let's see if, how everybody did. Everybody kicked my butt again. Lisa's up. Lisa's let, there. Me dial, There's... let me dial in with my phone so the camera works. Okay. Got I'll Lynette up. Well, let's go with Lynette. She has her everything on. Everybody turn your stuff on. Hi, Lynette. Hello. <laughs> And so, let's see, I'm gonna turn it this way. Oh, no, this way. Oops, oops. I must have a background on. Yeah, I can, you probably got, you got a softening of the edges. You want us to come back? Yeah, we can come back. I'll give you, give you a few minutes. Let's go with Ann, Ann's. Hi. Uh, <laughs> right. Ann's, Ann, you just, Popped I up the, there. I you turned, turned the mud so long ago, so I'll be anxious to wait to put some fresh. Oh, golly, look mm. at that purpley red. <laughs> ah, horrors. It looks so much worse on your screen than mine in person. Okay. Well, that's person. good. That's good for you then. Oh, you, don't have, you don't have to listen to anything I have to say. Uh, <laughs> oh, golly. Um, okay, <laughs> it gets, yeah, it's a little red. So yeah, basically check, check it. You're, you're, you know that it's, 
Yeah, it's, it's it not should like be a little bit on my own stuff. I mean, my own stuff. It's not like that horrid red. Ooh. <laughs> ah, hell. Okay, okay. I, but it's it's not that color though, right? No. Okay. Yeah. So it's probably you know, you know, then you're, <laughs> you're then you're, then you're good if it's not that color. Um, that's good. It's a good start. Uh, yeah, your tree can go a little bit bigger, but not much. A little bit taller, of the yellow one. Yeah. Uh, good block in though. That's a good block. Quick block in. I like the sky. I think the sky's working out pretty well. Uh, even the even your trees in the background are. You got a good solid. Uh, uh, you know, you got a mass there, but it's broken up nicely. I can just you can start to see shapes of different bushes and trees in there without uh you know going back there that's that's good 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 job on that yeah you're gonna probably have to watch your greens and see which ones uh try to get this front one to work uh pop a little bit more than the the secondary uh parts of green uh farther back that's I have just such difficulty with greens whenever you have that fatal green to something it turns into that metallic blue weird color that I just I don't know how to handle phthalo green or for that matter maple. your favorite <laughs> you were doing I think uh the blue plus ochre that's kind of your basic start that just was today blue. didn't huh? we didn't use we only use phthalo green and blue for uh for the sky okay and we didn't really use it for anything I didn't even use even the green, I kind of threw it, kind of mix in at the end, just mix it up. I didn't use that. Uh, so yeah, it's just yellows and oranges and reds and and uh, blue. Okay, yellow and uh, so right. yeah, yeah. Just basically, I think yeah, you tone that that middle ground back there down, that green a little bit down a little, in spots usually, uh, and you you'll have it. You'll be there. It's really good. I mean, color wise, space wise, it's working pretty nicely, uh, especially even with your strong reds. Uh, the front one uh, really pull, pulls you right in, the, right in your face, <laughs> which is nice. That's kind. That's kind. We, no, no, no. It gets it, it, it does what you want. It comes forward and the other colors recede all the way back there. And then the, the design also. Uh, works with that so you're 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 in the right direction definitely looking really good um and uh, <laughs> i no i think you're you're you know as long as it's not that really too too volcanic uh of a red you're fine okay <laughs> thank you good. james no Another you're thing. good no way to keep up though i'm i'm very impressed that you you painted a big painting like that that fast too. Well, that's the challenge, and that's the fun part is to just go at it without, you know, editing every stroke, and that's really a good exercise. That's an excellent exercise. Good, thanks. That's what thanks. I'm always look. You can look at me. I'm nothing but exercise. Oh, yeah. Lisa P. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa just oh, ran God. off. Okay, Lisa P, you're coming up and Char's coming up. Char's here. Lisa. Oh. Oh, look at Lisa again. Good throwdown on that tree. <laughs> Thank you. You worked hard on that, didn't you? I worked hard on that this little disaster goat. Oh. <laughs> oh, look how detailed that sheep is. Come in closer again. Let me see how no. detailed he is. He's going away. I think he has eyeballs. He's, he's got eyeballs on that guy. He's no, perfect. He's just, That's amazing. He looks oh, like a monkey. <laughs> no, but you know, he's so small. Oh, is that, is that our major hero one? No, just going away. I'm starting over. I'm just going to wipe him right out. <laughs> <laughs> Animals, well, you got to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is looking, this is looking very, very nice. Uh, you know, um, design wise, is there again. Good job, the tree. Your tree, at least, is you know, yeah, in the good spot. Um, 
I think he's, you know, he's going to have to be a little brighter yet. I think he can, yeah. he can use some brightening up. Or it's just, I'm making mud because everything's so wet. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. We're like, we'll make mud out of this one yet. Um, your greens are working out well. You've got a good space in the back. Uh, probably need a little bit stronger ones in the front, on the, that very front edge. A little more yellow in that. Maybe you might have to flop okay. those two. You know, okay. keep yeah. the bright, brightness in the very front there and then gray them down a little bit more in the back. Back, okay. I flip, flip those two. Um, but then the trees, the nice, really nice design on your trees. And and uh, that 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 uh, cloud in the top is super well done. The, the sky is really so nice, and uh, the way it's working into the thing uh, into your trees and stuff, really, really, really quite nice. You know, just watch the edges on some of the top edges and take care of those. And okay. good Laura, job. I'm... Lots of sheep to put in. I know. <laughs> all right okay. good job thank you all right welcome okay Anne marie did you pay no what <laughs> well i just i didn't have a good day it wasn't a good day so okay. i've been watching carefully and i i actually um absorbed a lot about the color mixing because i took some notes so that was helpful. So I'm going to give it a go. But I'm sure you will. That. Yeah, I'll give it a okay. go. Okay. Well, good. Feel better. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Char, did you paint? Yeah. Char always paints. Char, how are you doing? How is uh, Georgia? Oh, it was great. Yeah. Okay. Here, wait. Good. Let me move this. Um, I... I told Patrick I had painted with you and I told him your name and he goes, I, I've heard of him. He's never heard of me, huh? No, he yeah. said he had heard of you. Yeah, well, no, not enough. <laughs> yeah, he has. He like, he went in and he said, he said, he's won something recently. And I said, yeah, yeah. And he, and he goes in, he goes, oh yeah, that's who I thought it was. So... <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Can you see it? <laughs> it, right, looks, it looks blurry. Yeah, it does look a little blurry. Can you sharpen it up? No. Sharpen well, up. I don't know how. Yeah. No, 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 know. no. That you're doing fine. Don't worry. Right there. Right there. there. That that's a little better. Okay. There, that's yeah. better. All right. You're probably gonna have to brighten up the front edge that of the grass, the area and stuff. You uh, uh, over here. Yeah, that that area, that that section. Okay. I'm gonna have to okay. probably pop that a little bit more. It's still just a little darker than uh, it should be. Uh, okay. Good job on the sheep, though. I mean, in that area and stuff, really nice. Uh, and in the back, pretty ni and nice too. Uh, your tree probably gonna have to probably push a little more yellow into that tree a little bit. Good okay. job on this. Good job on the sky, though, in the background and the design. Um, yeah, work the work the, sh the the reflection a little bit better in the water too. Yeah, uh, yeah. I you, I think you can be a little simpler. You don't have to go quite as uh, crazy with that. I think it's you can just sometimes it just reads more as just a vertical kind of squish through okay. through through there and instead of may having any uh, uh, definition of any leaves or anything like that or okay. limbs. But that's not. And then, um, yeah, work, work uh, some sheep in the back. And yeah, really yeah, nice. Yeah, more sheep. Yeah, more sheep. Yeah. Hey, we just started. You know, what do you want for an hour, right? <laughs> I'll put a sheep dog. <laughs> there you go. Put a guy out there in a sheep dog. There you go. <laughs> Smart move. That would be a good idea, in fact. All uh. right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, put something in the water. Probably might be good to have one in the water too. A little bit sitting there or something because it's kind of boring to have it break that line. Good job. Okay. 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 We saw Lisa Jean do paint. Who else did did paint? Heather paint didn't paint. Uh, Lynette is ready anytime. Oh, Lynette is ready. Lynette, Lynette is ready <laughs> for for a close up. 
My painting isn't ready. <laughs> but I'm yeah, ready. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Uh, can you see it? Oh, what's going on with my... I see a nice photo. Oh, something's going on. We're way up top. There we okay, go. There we okay, I'm honing in. Honing in. Nice. Nice, Lynette. Really good, Beautiful. strong tree. Way to make, you know, you really, that tree just beautifully takes over nicely. Uh, hey, where are you going with it? I don't know what's happening with this. Okay. You got the new one, don't you? You got a new iPad, don't you? Is that it? Oh. Yeah, the new iPad will follow your voice and kind of center whoever talks <laughs> and catches motions. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay. But, uh, all right. Uh yeah, again, that one plateau in the front probably could go a little bit lighter. It's got a little glare on it, but so that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, uh, you might be able to push the orange back behind the tree. Really good job about where you handled the handle the sky into the tree back there and stuff. You got some beautiful little brush marks and softness going on all the way around that to that edge where the trees and the sky meet. You know, very nicely done. No, that's that's exactly a some really good paint move marks to do. Like those a lot. I, I'm uh, doing it the lazy way. You always have to. You can't. You can't do it. Just can't work. Worry about things too much. You just got to put them in and run. Um, and that's you know, I think uh, I would probably pull pull that one tree on the right. The, uh, on the corner and stuff, you know, make sure he's inside the the parameters a little bit more. Make sure he doesn't uh, get too tight to the side. Oh, okay. Uh, just a hair too tight. Uh, and then I probably, yeah, watch how you might have to go lighter in the, in the water. Because I think the water, you got the right value or right light color. It just needs a just a one step brighter. So you might, he might be able to just even run white right into that into those that uh color and okay. uh, lighten it up and stuff okay. you, you know while it's wet things like that good tree i can see you try you start putting in some um some sheep <laughs> they're got they're, the back they're, ones they're kind of pitiful but <laughs> well, that's the whole thing is the ones you only have to only have to really work on the the, the two two or three sheeps in the top and then the everything else is just indication. And okay. as, as you go back there, just it's just the way you have it. You've got the right proportions. They're small, mediums, and large. Not even large, you know, not even, you know, that's about all they had to do. Um, okay, I think it, your tree probably, you're going to need to go in there and get a little more darks in, into the tree a little bit here and there. But, okay. Uh, good you know it, it it's it does stand out really nice uh so just probably more around the look for look for the insides and little areas and it, it and it could be just the um the the trunk coming through there and stuff making uh some of that dark coming through so when you have that come through here and there through the through the branches um okay. that'll that'll darken up a little bit of areas too so okay. otherwise uh you know, I'd say watch the blue streak, one line <laughs> line going back there. It probably could go, you know, just a, just a little too thin. So uh, if you can blend that out just a little bit downward, a little bit more, uh, I think it'd be fine. In the sky. Otherwise, yeah, in the sky. You've got to behind that go, runs behind the tree and then one side to the other side. Okay, uh, yeah. It's it's just a little, little. Too much. Well, it either it has to be blended out better, a little bit deeper, you know, get be drawn down a little bit farther and blended in together, okay. just a hair farther, <laughs> just a hair farther, and then also uh, when you do the purple up there, uh, you know, break that, break the line a little bit more, you know, make a little more undulations in that in the purple at the very okay. top. Uh, that's about it. Okay, great. That's about that it. Otherwise, it, it has a really good rolling feel to it. Okay, I got about thirty sheep to go, and a few yeah. other, <laughs> and, and just some some color comp, you know, just color color adjustments. You're done. 
Okay, thank you. All right, get, get wrangling. <laughs> All right, uh, Heather, did you paint? Yes, I did. Okay, Heather painted. I, oh, I, I, I was focusing on blocking it in. Okay. Uh, blocking. Oh. There you, ooh, nice. And I cropped it. And you cropped it. I cropped, like I, yeah, I, because my canvas was square, then I, I went that way with the. Smart move. That's a, that's a really good move. But okay, uh, I'm trying so hard not to, I'm just trying to lay down the paint and leave it. And I got mixed up like a lot of us did with the greens and making mud. It happens. It happens, especially when you got, you, you got greens going against reds like that and the warms and stuff you do, you end up can get that way pretty quickly. So um, yeah, a lot of it's just touch. It's just knowing that how, how you're going to lay it down and, Leave it alone. And then leave it. Have the confidence to just leave it. Yeah, no, it, half of it is, yeah, is just yeah. knowing that there's another, another something else is coming in. Something else is coming in. So you don't have to get it all perfect all the time at every stage. Um, really, really great little little painting and stuff. I love the the designs. Real interesting. I like the the way you, you broke it up and... Um, it leads you in there and around the tree and comes back even without the sheep it does a great job uh you know watch how dark uh you know you're still working on the trees in the background yeah they're and pretty little, dark <laughs> okay just hair you know just hair dark. a lot of times you're going to lighten up as you go anyway as, i yeah. mean as you, you, you there's a second color third color going over them basically you want to just be very gentle when you put those things on that you don't just wipe out all the color that you put in and you know you don't want total blends all the time but uh that's really nice uh yeah you can probably have to you got a lot of you went to the blue side i'm just wondering check if you are on the blue side on on the back side um, down by the tree on the uh right side um that's is kind of bluish in here yeah yeah well down a little yeah I, that's too light i think i was just trying to mute the I was trying to get that, and that's when I, mm -hmm. yeah, I wrecked that side. But I, not yeah. too bad. No, no, it's right. It's pretty close. Uh, I was just watching the blue underneath the tree by the tree and stuff. How much? Um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of blue in that. Okay, just want to check, yeah. make sure that the, the monitor is working right. Yeah. Um, gosh, it's gonna be that's gonna be really nice. Uh, I just I like thought the, maybe I'd let it dry now and and then have a another go because like it's. All right. Get if you're if do, I, okay, if you're gonna do that, get the little streaks into the clouds and stuff into the sky at the same time. Get all those little noogies in the sky. Uh, get those all soft together, and then your that whole section will be done. You know, really, just look for a little couple small little undulations in that top cloud. A couple little, where they're very there's a little put punch of uh, blue going in or purple going in. Just those little things are just to soften that, that to break it up a little bit. And uh, that's that's the only thing. And uh, yeah, I love your tree the way, it's, even the way it's, it feels very transparent with the, uh, the, 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 well, the other trees behind it and stuff. You can just almost see right through it. It's kind of it's pretty cool. Well, thanks. All right. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for doing a, a landscape one. Yeah. No problem. It's what, it's fun to do. It's fun to do. I like landscapes. Yeah. I just I like landscapes too. Landscapes can go fast yeah. and easy. Okay, Mike didn't paint. Everybody, who else? Anybody a miss? Lori. Lori did. Lori, did you paint? Yes, I did. Here you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Look at that. You really okay. See, this is what happens when you use the right bright green in the front and the cooler greens in the back. You really get that separation of of, of space. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't see the depth though in the back. This is, looks a little whited out. Yeah, you got a little little like it's a little bit lighted out. Yeah, you probably got a little bit too much white in that color back there. Uh, well, I think it's the 
The monitor. Better. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, you got one little tangent problem going on right there where you, in the very, very front where you got a, you know, that, that uh, the bright green uh, area going across and then you got a little dot of uh, water when the water comes, the sh shadow of the water comes around. It's right underneath the, the, the sheep there. You got a little uh, X going there. So uh, it's kind of, kind of, kind of telling you to go to that one spot. So watch that. All right, that's a tangent when you come in, come into those. Everything meets at one point. You want to pu either push the water back a hair farther back, you know, not even you know quarter inch back, so you don't have so the breaks. They don't land. Everything doesn't land at the same spot. Okay. Um, Good job there. The tree, the yellow tree. Okay, now you can start seeing the color in the trees and stuff back there. You got a lot more color back there than uh, it looked. It did look a little washed out. Good job on the. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now you can even see the see the uh, uh, the sky. You got a lot of color in there. Yeah, you got your your light is just blink. You know, just that's just what happens. That's what happens with mine too is the light just kills the color back there and you can't see it quite as strongly as it is. Yeah. Well, that's really nice stuff. I like your tree. I'd say uh, uh, you could probably still hit that one, the right side of it, you know, the bright side of it, a little bit stronger okay. uh, and stuff. Uh, also, yeah, of course, you got a lot of sheep to put in, but you, <laughs> you, got, them, you got them spread around in the, in the back ones. Uh, just little touches. Don't need the, you know, you did a couple. Now you just put a couple smaller ones next to it like that kind of stuff. You don't, 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 don't kill yourself back there. Work on the ones only in the front. You okay. know, everything else can be just, just placements. Um, really kind of nice. Uh, it's really moving really nicely back there going from, from the forefront here all the way back uh to the, to your, uh, trees and everything are really nice okay yeah i um, think the depth i have like a curve going up in the in the center and i think that's killing my depth you can push it down a little bit or just bring up yeah. the sides just a little bit i think it's i think it's probably got a little bit too much uh yeah just a little bit too much uh trees on the on the left side a little bit I think you probably just, you could soft, you know, bring the grass up a little bit. Okay. You'd be fine. Not a whole lot. I mean, it's really nicely uh, figured out. The sky is, the sky is what's going to make it and stuff. So make sure that color, you know, it's hard. It comes in, it goes and stuff. I want to make sure it's there. You know, you have that, that intensity of uh, blue and the, uh, you know, aqua in that, in that sky back there. Yeah. You do have it, right? I do and I got a new camera and it's still not very good <laughs> <laughs> okay okay good I just want to make sure make sure that that's done otherwise yeah. it's it, you're yeah it's in it's in going really good just watch that tangent okay we'll spot you're good anything thank else you. that's it thank okay. you okay. okay did I miss anybody yeah me oh okay, hell yes <laughs> okay, we saved the best for last, right? Not really, but okay. Yeah, me. Ooh, wait, wait, that's not it, is it? That's not yeah. even the same painting. She's gone. Now we can talk about I'm it. Here. I don't know where your picture went, though. Yeah, you, hey. you, you, you stopped. I hear your voice, but I don't have a picture. Okay, <laughs> let me... Let me move, remove spotlight from, yeah, I can't, maybe oh, I died. Did I die? No, I didn't. I, I'm no, here. Let me, I got, push, let me, let me get you. Yeah. Okay. Just stay there. Let me get, let me see if I can get you. All right. It might be me. I'm not very good at this. What did you do? I keep going to replace. <laughs> it won't take, won't take you. Huh? Wait. Hit video. Uh oh, now I'm dead. Now oh, you're back. God. Well, you were back, and then. I... <laughs> All right. Hold on. 
I can see you. I can see there you. There we go. Okay. Don't do anything. Don't do I'm anything. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Just holding it. Okay. Do <laughs> I have too much red in the front? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the in the yellow grass and the grass and stuff. Yeah. That's where the wolf that's where the wolves came in, right? I think <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, just a hair too much, not too bad. I like the everything else, though. I mean, everything else has a lot of play to it. Good job. Good job. I mean, um, some fun things there. You know, you get your tree to your trees coming along. Again, the same thing, just you know, a little more detail, just a touch more detail. But you got the, you got the, you know, you have the fun, you know, essence of the tree. Now it's just putting in the, uh, just finding those little parts of the of the branch that's going to you know make that shape work that's all it is on that that tree back there that's beautiful that's a really good job yeah and watch yeah just clean up that uh, front area there a little bit more uh and otherwise i even like your sheep back there nice job did you just race those out that's probably the smartest move is just erasing those guys out i would probably say yeah you probably could do that just touch them with the racer make dots that would have been smart but i wasn't being too smart today uh nice i yeah you, i want it's gonna be really nice uh, colors colors good the sky's right uh the clouds up top good job painting those and your greens are good i'd say probably you're gonna have to watch the mid you know just a little bit dark so look, you're gonna find a few lighter areas, grayer, you know, you got them on the right side of, of the grasses down by the tree, underneath the tree in the area. You're probably just gonna to have to, you know, work those over to the side a little bit more on the left side, to the left side. Uh, and then, uh, you know, watch, just watch how crazy you are getting in the back uh, with the trees, the purples and stuff could be, you know, just, just a little more dense back there, but not much, not too much. Real fun though. Um, okay. Yeah, clean up that one front area. Was definitely was, was, would make a big difference right off the bat. Uh, and uh, the color is great. So congratulations. Oh. Anything else, were you, anything worries? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Good job. I have trouble with the greens a lot, but everybody does, I think. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It, it's it's one of the toughest colors to get to work with. Well, that's to get nice to, to get hear. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, just you know, watch the how much red you got in that front area. Just really repaint it with a bunch of yellow, and okay. uh, yellow, and just Don't a touch of green in it, and uh, that'll work. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No Thanks. worries. <laughs> Who else we got going? Did anybody else? Have I, Linda P. Did Linda? Where's Linda go? Oh, she dashed, dined and dashed on us. Mike didn't. Mike came and watched. I don't know if he. Yeah, came. I didn't. I didn't get back until after nine. I got a quick question for you, Jim. Okay. When you look at the photo, the photo has a really beautiful almost kind of orange yellow um you know kind of tint to the it ought, it ought, that light almost comes over the whole entire scene right right can you can you wait till that dries and then do like the thinnest layer of a glaze over the whole painting yeah i think you could uh in um the prob problem with the glaze the glaze does uh is the you know you'd have to probably use a touch of white into it and then you just have to really watch it when you put it in over the darks that it's not uh you know clumping up in in, in your darks and things because that'll just make it look kind of weird but i think yeah you probably could do it especially over the greens and yeah. some of these reds and purples and stuff we got going in here you probably could do it and probably work out nice so um yeah, it's a good, a good, I'll try it. 
you know, I well, I'm going to give it, a, I'm going to, I'll, I'll paint and send you the painting though. I'm look. this is oh. a great image. It is fun. It is fun. Uh, and I think the sky just brings it to life and stuff. So I just got to, you know, get back to it sometime. We'll get it right. Okay. Thank you. So yep. can, no I, can I ask a question about the previous question about the glazing? So yeah. if, you, if you were going to do that, when you, when you say, you know, let it dry, quote unquote, how long would you have to let it dry before you did a glaze? Because I, 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 the painting that I do is always a la prima or close to it, you know. So, like, I don't really understand about the whole drying thing and what happens after that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, usually, you do like a, they call it a thumb, uh, a thumbnail test. You know, you got if you have any thick paint, you could you put a your thumbnail against it and push in. It doesn't give. Uh, it's probably good. It's good to, you know, okay. put a glaze on. I mean, okay. a lot of times, well, well glaze it. Well, the glaze is you can almost as soon as it's it's dry, you can pretty much do it, do a glaze. Uh, that, what I was just saying about is more for varnishing. And stuff. Yeah. So, but you know, they okay. kind of go in hand in hand because you can do, need to make sure it's, it really is kind of dry because uh, you don't want anything to crack later on, but you know, that's, you know, that can happen anytime. Cracking, yeah. them, we can't do, we can't worry about cracking. <laughs> okay. So, Thanks. Good, good. Uh, so we got another one down. What do you guys want to paint next week? Ocean. Ocean. There we go. Sunflowers or sunflowers. Oh, sunflower and oceans. <laughs> anyway throwing that out there thank dogs. you how about dogs uh, we need an Australian <laughs> sheep herder in the middle midst of this scene <laughs> we need a little Aussie with his tail like and trying to gather them all together <laughs> oh okay all right I'm into dogs he wants the dogs we will pay we'll see we'll see what we can do for you guys then um you always paint oh. a singular dog how about you know like three and engaging don't say don't say that if you don't mean it <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, I, I have funny. shots like that don't Rocky don't say it if you don't want with to... the ball and jumping over a fence and landing on each other oh, i got i got i got a shot that's very it's, it's primo to paint it's it's a tough one though, it's, and I'm great. saying, but uh, it'd be like an unbelievable painting to do. All right, see. Okay, I'll I show love you guys a painting that makes me laugh, and dogs always make me laugh. And when I paint dogs, I'm laughing. Okay, well, <laughs> and put a barn make... in it or a house in it or something like that. A what? Like have a have the dogs and then maybe a barn or a shed or I don't know or them on a dock or something like that with water I don't know okay okay <laughs> and the ocean and the other um, okay well you know those, those are easy to find uh no I want to see the tough one well uh, okay the tough I don't know one's if a, I want to do it. The, I just like to see it. Well, the tough one is uh, from down in Lexington when they had the had the uh, hounds and the and the fox fox uh, and the guys on horses and and uh, chase chasing down the having a fox on it. Love it. It's oh, that sounds pretty amazing. Cool. Pretty amazing. Love but it's it. like that sounds great. It, it's more than a, it. It'll take us more than an hour and a half to paint. Well. Everything we do takes us more than an hour and a half to paint out. I'll spend, I don't know, three days on this one. <laughs> All right, you know, that's what they said. You're got to keep you busy, keep you out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Till next Thank week. You. Bye. Thank you. Thank so you, much. Jim. All right, guys. Later. Fun. Bye. Bye-bye.